motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings, my friends. Queen here today with another episode. We're going to have a, uh, a great talk today. So let's get into the present moment by taking a couple of breaths so that we can get into the present moment awareness. All right, beautiful. And as you're doing your conscious breathing, focus on channeling the energy inside your body upward from your navel area, root chakra area, up to the top of your head, your crown chakra. So when you do your breath work and your conscious breathing, Focus on that and see if you start to see some changes within your body because you're actually moving energy and it's beautiful. So that's going to be our, our little ritual that we do every time we do the episode. I do this breath work throughout the day. It's just a part of my life, but I wanted to share a piece of it with you guys as well. You guys and gals. All right, so today... We are, the title of our talk today is to create a new, you must destroy the old. To create a new, you must destroy the old. Now let me um, tell you a story about two people. One is a wise person, and one is a foolish person. So each of these people, they have a home. These homes are identical. The structure and how they were built, everything is identical with these two homes. In fact, the wise person and the foolish person, they live side by side same neighborhood. Now, every time <clears throat> every time it rains and storms, the wise person and the foolish person, their house gets flooded. There's there's cracks in their foundation <clears throat> and there's cracks in the walls. And so every time it storms, their house gets flooded. So now one day they're out manicuring their grass at the same time, manicuring the lawn. And so the wise person calls over the foolish person and says, Hey, you know what? I noticed that every time it rains or every time it storms, our, our houses get flooded out. I guess the builder, when they built the homes, they were rushing and didn't take care of the foundation. So why don't we tear down our houses, demolish our homes, and build them over from scratch, fixing the foundation. And a foolish person says, you know what, this is a great idea. I think we should do that. So now, the foolish person is also a person that loves instant gratification. 
He's a person that cuts corners, doesn't seek out minor details, and wants just the appearance of perfection, but not necessarily real perfection. The wise person, the wise person is very detailed. He wants to make sure that everything that he puts his mind and his, his talent and his labor to, that he does it to the best of his ability, his or her ability, okay? So they call in contractors. They do this at the same time. They demolish their homes. The foolish person wants to have his home completed first. So what does he do? He just tells them to start building. Don't worry about the foundation. It'll be all right. Just give me a gorgeous home. I want to outdo my neighbor. I want to outdo him. He's, he's always winning. She's always winning. Just get it going, and I want to be first to be finished. The wise person talks to the contractors and tells them, you know what, before we start building the new house, we've got to really dig in here and we've got to fix this foundation. In fact, let's lay some new foundation that's very, very solid, making sure that we don't have any future cracks or, or any, uh, you know, settling incorrectly in the foundation. I want to make sure this is perfect. So if we have to spend a lot of time doing this, that's okay. All right? So this is the wise person talking to the contractors. So now the foolish person, he finishes his house about a week earlier, a week or two earlier than the wise person. And he's all, you know, bragging about, in the neighborhood about his new beautiful home. And um, the wise person congratulated him, told him, yeah, you know, it looks great. It looks, it looks really, really great. The wise person is still, you know, they're still working to get his home put up. Foundation they laid, took some time to dry and settle and make sure all of that was perfect. And then they put the structure on the foundation. So now the wise person is done with his home as well. Wise person doesn't go around town and neighborhood bragging. He just, you know, it is what it is. I just built a new home, no big deal. So now about a few days later, after the wise person finished building his home, mind you, the foolish person had already finished, there was a huge, huge storm that came through one of the worst storms that they had ever encountered in their, in their little town. And a foolish person, because he didn't redo his foundation, he got flooded out in his brand new home. Everything soiled and destroyed because he didn't correct the foundation. The wise person had no issues, completely dry, as he had fixed the foundation. So the tale of this story is that foolish people will try to create new things in their life without fixing the foundation. And what is the foundation? The foundation are the beliefs that you may have, the actions or non-actions that you may take or not take, and the different programs that you're running. So if you're wanting to create something new, you're wanting to make a change. You have to change the, the foundation of your belief system. Let me give you a couple examples. 
I belong to a couple of different health groups on Facebook. One group in particular, we typically only, or the majority of the time, talk about water fasting. Now, I've seen a lot of people in that group. They will do good through their water fasting detox. But then they always say, I yo-yoed back. And I gained all my way back, and I'm now more heavier than I was before. What's wrong? Why? Why? What's happening? And to me, it's as clear as the blue sky. Because you have not changed the mental program about your relationship with food. So therefore, when you finished your water fast, you went right back to bad eating habits. Simple, right? It's a program change. You know, my great grandmother used to always say, you can't put perfume on a, <laughs> she used to say, you can't put perfume on a heel of shit it's still gonna smell like shit. You have to remove the shit, wash it away, and then put the perfume on. So this is the same thing when we're talking about making a change. You have to wipe away the shit that is no longer serving you, and then you have to embed a new program, a new paradigm, a new belief that now is serving you for what it is that you're choosing right now. I'll give you another example. I have a client that I've been working with over some years. And this client wants to earn more revenue in his business. Now, it's one thing to want something. It's another thing to be committed to something. So in working with him, he thought just because he wanted to make more revenue that he would just automatically make more revenue. But here's the thing. When you're an entrepreneur, you make the revenue that you think you deserve. So if you're making $100,000 a year, that's what you think you deserve. Now, how do you move the needle to up the ante if you want to increase your revenue? You have to increase your belief on what you think you deserve. How do you do that? You do that with affirmations. You do that with positive thinking. You do that with reprogramming any blockages that have gotten you at this $100,000 cap. So you totally redo the foundation. It's really simple. It's all about reprogramming your beliefs. I have another client, health client. Again, wanting to lose weight, wanting to be in the best shape, those things are, are great. They're great conversations to have at cocktail parties and so forth and so on. Everybody wants all the good stuff. But at the end of the day, are you committed to this new thing or things that you want to create? When you are committed then you will go in and you will destroy the old foundation and you will install a new foundation that gives you what it is you're choosing right now for your life. So that's something to ponder, something to think about. I love creating. I think we are naturally creators. We are always seeking to advance. We are always seeking to evolve and to expand. But we have to remember, you can't put perfume on a hill of shit and expect it to smell good. 
So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Talk with you tomorrow in our next upcoming episode. Peace and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.